Hey guys, it's Paul here. And I want to share a dream I had back on uh, January 8th. Uh, it was a dream where I saw a friend of mine who's a military man. He's a warrior in the military. Now he's moved up to the intelligence area. But um, anyway, needless to say, his name is Michael. And I know that he's a warrior. So I knew while I was seeing him in my dream that this was representing Archangel Michael. In this dream, I saw many people, actually, first of all, it was like a building and there were staircases, oh man, they were everywhere going up and many going down. And I saw Michael going up and down, up and down. And it was just weird. I was watching him and I tried to talk to him, but he was too busy. So I followed him. And at one point he was going down and this was interesting because when I got to the main floor, of this building because <clears throat> I, I was thinking it would go lower but it stopped at the main floor and there were showers everywhere and people were cleansing themselves so I walked around and I, I this was all being seen in spirit so it was uh, I guess a representation of the world and people need to you know let's face it you gotta you gotta follow Jesus you gotta clean yourself in the blood of Jesus Christ and I think that this is what this dream represented. And um, I don't have my notes, so I, I don't remember what else I wrote. But I definitely remember the staircases going up and down. I remember the showers. And uh, I didn't see pools this time, but a lot of showers. And the minute people would walk out of the shower, they would towel themselves off and they started heading up. So that was powerful. And uh, I believe that that's the times we're living in. People are coming to know the Lord. And uh, interesting thing I want to add to this is yesterday, I happened to notice a lot of people were pointing out that uh, January 14th on the Gregorian calendar is actually January 1st on the Julian calendar. So I had that dream on the 8th, but I was prompted to put it out yesterday. And it was interesting that the car that I saw that day dropping off my daughter at university it was uh, the white confirmation, or sorry, the yellow, uh, the Volkswagen Beetle, I always tell you, is my confirmation car. And it was covered in snow, which was interesting, because if you look up with snow and white and cleansing, they all kind of go together. So it's, it was interesting. But anyway, that's my dream. And I believe the Lord is telling us, uh, at least for me, I think things are, are going to start ramping up now. So uh, get right with the Lord. And uh, I've seen many people share this, and this is something I did just yesterday. I, I cleansed my house, so I, I highly recommend you bless some oil and or water or whatever you have on hand and go around your house and do all your doors and windows and sanctify your house in the name of Jesus. Make your house a holy place. I've actually told my kids now that I don't want them bringing any riffraff in the house unless they mean to talk to them. Because my, my kids listen to me, but at the same time, they're scared of the things I tell them because I'm pretty honest. And five years ago, the things I was telling them, they thought I was crazy. Just like the world thinks conspiracy theorists are like not in line with stuff. Well, here we are five years later, and my kids are actually seeing in front of them and hearing. So I always pray for their ears and their eyes to be open spiritually every night. Every night I pray this over my kids and my wife. So all of the arguing they had against me, because I was going against the world telling them all the things I know. Now they hear and they see. And especially the COVID period, man, did my kids start talking openly about. And all these friends of them in school and in university started gravitating to them because of their positivity. So I believe the Lord is setting up things you know, place by place, and I think we're about to enter a very hard period coming. I mean, you look around the news, it's you see it happening. You got like, we have earthquakes and diver places, volcanoes going off. The evidence is there, and it's not by accident. They're like covering the news and not sharing certain stuff. And here in Canada, you got Trudeau passing these weird laws that you know it doesn't let social. Um, all of the social medias now cannot cross share anymore. So I mean. There's a reason they're hiding this stuff. So that's the message I'm sharing with you today. I love you. And 
please get close to God because he's waiting and he's, especially when you're praying, he's waiting to be there with you. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye. Okay, I love you. Jesus loves you more.